sites down here. Go back around. On the left up here. that short drive-through of Cactus Garden RV Resort. I'm going to give you a little uh, walk through the some uh, different aspects of the park. This is the entrance and uh, when you enter the park a lot of the RV parking is right off to the uh, left and right as you enter the main entrance. You can see the mountains in the background. Very scenic. Off to the right here is the office. This is where you park and then go check in. Going in on a Saturday or Sunday, more than likely the office will be closed. And they have a black box. You see the black box right there. It has envelopes in it. Grab your envelope that'll have your site number on it. Just go find your site. Pool is adjacent to the, the 
office back behind that wall. I'll give you some photos of that later. Restrooms are down there. And uh, we'll take a walk over here. Here's the library right in front of us. We get uh, free Wi Fi. There's the antenna on top of the building. And uh, uh, the laundry is right here also. Nice clean laundry, I'll give you some shots of so Right now I'm standing at the north entrance of the Cactus Garden RV Resort. And what I would call our sister resort is right there. The Desert Paradise RV Resort. And the two are actually connected and if you stay in one, you can use the facilities in the other. Uh, there's there's also a pedestrian walkway between the two. I'll take you up there now. Okay, well this is the pedestrian walkway that goes between Cactus Garden RV Resort and Desert Paradise RV Resort. If you boondock, like Melody and I do, if you boondock, like Melody and I do, then um, you're going to have a special treat when we get to the other end of Desert Paradise RV Resort. Yeah, something to shit. Yeah, I'm walking, uh, making my way to the end of Desert Paradise RV Resort. And you can see some of their RV sites on the right here. Our friends from Canada. And this is also part of the Encore system. And uh, they are also affiliated with the Trails Collection under the Thousand Trails uh, umbrella. So if you had the Trails Collection, you could stay at either Cactus Garden or Desert Paradise RV Resort. Okay, so I'm walking out of Desert Paradise RV Resort into the dog park. This is the same dog park that goes past, uh, it's right off, right adjacent my RV down in Cactus Garden. And if you walk out this way, this is actually an alleyway. This is where we take the dogs and there's fenced entryways from each park into this quote alleyway. But the special treat for boondockers is right ahead. I am gonna take you over there. That building is the visitor center for the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. There's several fantastic places to boondock in Kofa. And, uh, I'll be telling you more about those in the days to come, but we're gonna go over and take a peek real quick at Kofa. Well, if I haven't told you before, Melody and I like to seek out scenic boondocking locations. Now that we're retired. And in between, we maximize the use of our Thousand Trails membership, our Resort Parks International membership, Skatees membership, and Passport America membership. We kind of bounce between various different parks in our travel uh, in between boondocking or we can find scenic boondocking we prefer to boondock so this happens to be we're at the entrance to the visitor center it's new year's day so they're not going to be open but i'm going to give you a, a shot at the, the front of the complex very knowledgeable employees in here uh, pointed me to 
several outstanding boondocking locations. We uh, we scoped those out earlier this week. Let me give, let me give you a walk around here. Yeah, everything's locked up. The the uh, the glass is tinted, so we can't can't really see too much. But very nice facility, knowledgeable employees. I actually talked to a biologist um, that knew all about COFUD, what the roads were like, where to go, where not to go, with the fifth wheel. And parking lot so more on Kofa in the weeks to come back to Cactus Garden back in Cactus Garden RV Resort here's some more sites this is on Echo Loop Echo Street right Fox Rock and, uh, things to do while you're here um, Algodones, Mexico, was a great day trip. Um, did a video on that. Look it up in my video history. But that was a fantastic day trip. We really, really had a good time. Um, let's see. The Imperial National Wildlife Refuge is not far from here. Um, and in the Imperial National Wildlife Refuge, there's a 1.3 mile trail. It's a loop trail, desert, uh, painted desert trail. And uh, while Melody and I did that, we saw some bighorn sheep, a baby, and I, I believe it was the mother, it was an adult, bighorn sheep. And we, uh, we did a video, ended up making a video on that because we saw the big one sheep. Uh, they have a wonderful biking trail. We did that one day uh, down along the uh, Yuma waterfront. And uh, I mean, you can bike for, for miles down there. Uh, but it goes along the Colorado River and through some very nice parks. back at the rig and I guess I'll leave you with some photography from the 